Greetings Slackers, September Man here with another video and and this one I want to talk about relationships, you know, who you're with and why it's important. You know, I get to thinking about this and I think back on past relationships that I've had, some good, some bad, but in weighing out things, I have a better vision of what I want for the future, right? And dating multiple people, you know, a lot of you guys out there are bouncing from woman to woman, sleeping with them, eating, whatever. And, and that's fine. You know, it's just part of the game, right? But at some point, all that sleeping around and dating and partying and stuff, you should be stepping back and getting to know women, right? More on a uh, non-physical level. And not necessarily so much mental either. I'm talking about things like, you know, Thinking about some of the women that you've dated, why you've dated them, what you liked about them, what you didn't like about them, why you didn't go with them over someone else. You know, those kind of things. So, in having multiple relationships and taking some time away from a relationship has given me much time to sit back and contemplate the very things that I just asked. And, you know, you look at the relationships that you see out in the world. You look out here at the relationships that you see in the world. You have celebrities, you have entertainers, you have your friends, and you have family. They have relationships. Sometimes those relationships don't work out. And it's just a shocker, you know, like, damn, you know, I was just with them, and they seemed like they were okay. They were laughing and shit. Now they're getting divorced, or they're splitting apart. And it's important before you get into a relationship of two having an idea of what it is that you want, knowing what you want, and making sure that the person who gets slotted into that place that you call your girlfriend, or ladies if you're listening to this, your boyfriend, that it's the right person. And where I'm going to go with this is here. Some of you are getting into relationships with people who are going to become your enemy, cause you some heartbreak slow you down, add burden onto you. And those are the kinds of things that we don't think about before we get involved with someone. My mindset has changed, and today, there's certain things that I, I'm willing to deal with. There's certain things that I'm willing to tolerate. And you want to make sure that when you're in a relationship, you're truly in a relationship with someone who doesn't just want a relationship for the sake of wanting a relationship. You want to be in a relationship with someone who wants to be in a relationship with someone else and grow something, you know? Where's this relationship sailing to? Is it rudderless and just spinning in the water? Or is there some horizon and a shore out there that it's sailing towards? It doesn't even necessarily have to flow into something that's on the horizon. You know, imagine being on a ship and your shipmates are, you know, want to call mutiny. They want to throw you over. Right? Basically, the people in your life can either help you or hurt you. And you should be conscious of this and only want to invite people into your life who are helpful to you, for you, and with you. And who you can also be in kind. I understand that not everybody is at this point. Not everybody wants to be in a relationship for those reasons. Sometimes relationships are selfish. So-and-so has a lot of money. He's a come-up. So-and-so has big titties and a nice ass. I want to get in it. That's the world we live in. But for your relationships, hopefully you spend a little bit of time mapping those out and especially making sure that the people who occupy that space in your life are not only good people, but they're good to you. I'm going to end on that note. Got to get back in here. It's the end of my break. I'll probably come back out here and do some more videos later because there's a lot of stuff going on that I definitely want to talk about. So thanks for listening, and I'll catch you in the next video.